हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज अ वीडियो लेक्चर ऑन आइडियल फर्मेंटर वॉट इज फर्मेंटर अ फर्मेंटर इज एन एपेरेटिस दैट मेंटेन्स रिक्वायर्ड ऑप्टिम एनवायरमेंटल कंडीशंस फॉर द ग्रोथ ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियली इंपॉर्टेंट माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स यूज इन लार्ज स्केल फर्मेंटेशन प्रोसेस एंड इन द कमर्शियल प्रोडक्शन ऑफ अ रेंज ऑफ फर्मेंटेशन प्रोडक्ट्स लाइक एंटीबायोटिक्स एंजाइम्स ऑर्गेनिक एसिड्स अल्कोहल बिवरेजेस एक्सेट्रा टू प्रोवाइड अ कंट्रोल फिजिको केमिकल एनवायरमेंट फॉर द ग्रोथ ऑफ अ प्योर कल्चर और अ वेल डिफाइंड मिक्सड कल्चर ऑफ अ माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स इज द की फंक्शन ऑफ एन आइडियल फर्मेंटर टू ऑप्टेन द डिजायर्ड फर्मेंटेशन प्रोडक्ट्स एन आइडियल फर्मेंटर मेंटेन्स ऑप्टिम एनवायरमेंटल कंडीशंस थ्रू आउट द प्रोसेस फॉर द प्रोसेस ऑर्गेनिजम्स एडेड सबस्टेट एंड एडिटिव फॉर अ क्वालिटी एंड प्रोडक्ट saving of energy and cost effective operations is very important concern as far as fermentation economics is concerned many times the term bioreactor and the fermenter are used synonymously there is a very minor difference between these two the bioreactor is used for the mass culture of plant and animal cells while fermentation is mainly used for microbial culture the operational parameters and design engineering of fermenters and bioreactors are identical this is a picture of an ideal fermenter parameters of an ideal fermenter a fermenter should have the facility the growth of a wide range of organisms capable of producing a varieties of fermentation products do not allow entry to any sort of unwanted microorganisms thus to provide operation free from contamination maintain a specific required temperature provide adequate aeration and agitation to meet the metabolic requirements of the organisms during the process to attain mass and heat transfer within the system without damaging the process organisms control the ph of the culture throughout the process have provision of constant monitoring and control of level of dissolved oxygen allow feeding of nutrient solutions and other supplementary requirements provide access points for seed culture inoculation and sampling during the process reduce liquid loss from the vessel during process by cooling system be capable of being operated aseptically during the tenure of the process thus fulfilling the requirement of contaminant regulation ensure that the overall process period should have proper should have pro power consumption as low as possible be designed in such a way that it required the minimal use of labors during the production process and downstream operations should be suitable for a range of process along with the containment regulations be constructed in such a way that it ensure even internal surface using welds instead of flange joint whenever possible should have identical geometry at different operational level the material from which the fermenter fermenter is made up of should be inert and capable of withstanding repeated steam sterilization conditions apart from all these parameters it's very imperative to have adequate service provision for individual plants the important service provisions are listed below functions of different parts of a fermenter vessel size and material function of a fermenter is to carry out process under appropriate aseptic and predefined environmental conditions a fermenter vessel is designed in such a way that it requires minimal labor operations and maintenance it should have internal surface with a similar geometry the volume capacity of the fermenter vary at different stages from laboratory experimental models with volume capacity of 1 or 2 liters pilot scale fermenter up to 1000 liters industrial scale fermenter are of several hundred liters capacity they there are mainly two types of vessel based on the type of fermentation process one small scale fermenter they are made up of glass 
The large vessels are made up of borosilicate battery jars. They have a round or a flat bottom and a top flange carrying plate. They are smooth, non-toxic and corrosion free. These vessels can be sterilized by autoclaving. It is feasible to examine the interior of the glass vessels. The diameter of the vessel is usually more than 50 cm. Second one, the large scale fermenter. As stainless steel is the most satisfactory material, it is used to manufacture vessels of high volume. This vessel can be sterilized in C2. They can withstand high pressure and corrosion. Corrosion resistant properties due to the thin hydrous film on the surface of the metal. This film is stabilized by chromium. This film is continuous, non-porous, insoluble and self-heating. The corrosion resistance property of the vessel can be improved by mixing tungsten, silicon and other elements at the time of manufacturing. Empler. This device is used for agitation of the medium. Agitation creates a uniform environment in which all organisms remain in continuous contact with the medium, resulting in maximum uptake of the nutrient. It also increases the air bubble path generated from the sparger. Hence, more time to dissolve oxygen in the medium. The empler achieves a number of mixing objectives like suspension of solid particles, bulk fluid and a gas phase mixing. There are various types of emplers. Sparger. This device is used for aeration. Arabic fermentation process requires sufficient oxygen to the microorganisms for metabolic requirement. Depending on volume of the medium in the fermentation vessel, different types of spargers are installed in the fermenter. Porous sparger, it is made up of sintered glass or ceramics. It is used on the laboratory scale in non-agitated vessel. Another type of sparger, nozzle sparger, it is a partially closed or single open pipe which provides steam to the air bubbles. As nozzle sparger causes a lower pressure and does not get blocked, they are used as a single nozzle. Combined sparger agitator. It is introduced air through a hollow agitator's shaft. The hollows, sorry, the holes are drilled in the disc, which remains connected to the base of the main shaft from where it is emitting the air bubbles. It provides excellent aeration in a baffled vessel. The efficiency of aeration depends on operation of agitator at a range of revolution per meter. Baffles. This device is used to avoid the vortex formation generated during the agitation of the medium. Baffles are made up of metal strips attached 90 degree to the wall of fermenter vessel. The, the diameter of the baffles is nearly one third, sorry, one tenth of the vessel diameter. The gap between the vessel wall and the baffle strip should be maintained in such a way that scoring oxygen of the minimized microbial growth on the walls of the fermenter. Form control. A medium rich in protein when subjected to agitation it generates form. If the excess forming is not prevented it results in the leakage of the medium from the lid of the fermenter vessel and hence lead to the contamination of the fermentation medium. A form sensing device is usually installed from the lid in the fermenter, set at a definite level above the broth surface. When the form rises and touches the prop tip, a signal is generated in form of current and passed through the circuit of the prop and gives a signal. If the fermentation operation is automatic, then the signal triggers the pump and the antiform agent is released within seconds mechanically or robotically. It is also possible to add antiform manually in case the process is not automatic. Temperature controlling devices. Mechanical agitation and exothermic microbial metabolic activity generates heat during the fermentation process. Endothermic microbial metabolic activities lower down the temperature of the fermentation medium. To maintain this temperature, heat is to be either added or to be removed from the system. The cooling system is used to remove excess heat from the system. Internal heating coils are used for providing heat. Feed pots. 
Feed pots are the tubes and pipelines connected to the nutrient reservoir. These tubes or pipelines are used to add nutrients and acid and alkali in the fermenter before and during the fermentation process. They are heat sterilized in situ and or ex situ with steam. It is advisable to sterilize after connection has been done and before any additions are made. Flow regulation and controlling device. Five types of valves are used. 1. Safety valve. Any pipe layout which work under pressure are incorporated with this safety valves. This valve protects the pipe layout and ensure that the pressure never go beyond the upper limit of the specified value. Second, Glob wall. Glob walls do not regulate the flow of steam or water. They are suitable for general purpose like com completely open or completely closed. Butterfly walls. When the diameter of the pipe is large and there is low <coughs> or no pressure, butterfly walls are ideal choice. These walls do not ensure aseptic operation. Ball, ball walls. These walls are appropriate when aseptic condition is required. These walls can also be operated under high temperature. Ball walls can handle mycelia, broth, diaphragm walls. They are used for flow regulation. Sealing assembly. Stirrer shaft, a device providing agitation, must be sealed properly, ensuring long term aseptic operations. There are various types of sealing assembly available in the market, of which three are mainly used. Mechanical seal, made up of stationary part in the bearing and the rotating part on the shaft. A spring is used to press these two components together. A suitable lubricant should be applied to ensure friction-free smooth rotation and control the heat generation at the point of stationary and moving parts of the seal. Packed gland seal. Several layers of ring made up of asbestos are used to see seal the shaft. Periodical monitoring and replacement of these rings advisable to prevent the penetration of heat. Third, magnetic drives. This assembly is made up of two magnets. The driving magnet is held in the bearing on the outside of head plate and connected to the drive shaft. The driven magnet is placed on one end of the ampler shaft and held in the bearings on the inner surface of the top plate. This is the summary of functions of various parts of fermenter. This is all about the ideal fermenter. Thank you.